First at four, it has been getting hotter and hotter as we get deeper and deeper into summer. And many people have already taken advantage of one of Boise's most popular activities, floating the Boise River. Boise Parks and Rec says both Barber Park and Ann Morrison Park have seen more visitors and cars at the start of this year's floating season than the start of last year's. A big jump, in fact. But for those of you who haven't had a chance to hit the Boise River this year, News Channel 7's Hector Mendoza tells you what you need to enjoy this very popular attraction safely. Before you get started, you should probably know that the most popular put in to float the Boise River is here at Barber Park. Number seven, if you plan on renting a raft, don't forget your ID. Can I get a four person raft? Number six, and if you decide not to rent a raft and bring your own, don't forget the air pump because Barber Park no longer provides public air pumps. Number five, it's all about the bags. Trash bags for, well, your trash, and then a dry bag to keep your keys, wallet, and your phone dry. Number four, don't forget to hydrate. Things are getting well into those triple digits, so things are getting hot and water is super important. And speaking of water, don't forget your water shoes. Number three, you can't forget the hat. Number two, don't forget to apply sunscreen and reapply throughout the day. And number one, the most important thing to remember when floating the Boise River, Don't forget your life vest. It could save your life. Seven great tips from our Hector Mendoza. And those are some very important tips to have in your back pocket when making plans to float the Boise. And since there has been a lot of people uh, driving out to Barber Park and Ann Morrison Park, Boise Parks and Rec wants to let people know when it comes to parking, make sure to pay attention to the signs. Don't park in drop off areas, 30 minute zones or no parking areas in nearby neighborhoods. For more information, you can visit floattheboise.org.